<laughs> What's up? Welcome to Frankly Speaking. What? Frankly Speaking. What? Frank White. What? The Good Word Blog. What? The Best in News. What? News. Urban Life. Entertainment. Sports. What? The Good Word. What? <laughs> nah, let me stop. See what you did to me, Nate? Shout out to WWE Network. Been watching way too much of it. I know, I know. Shout out to Stone Cold, Steve Austin Podcast. That dude is nice with his. If you don't download it, download it. But back to this good word blog, presenting to you, frankly speaking, video blog, giving you the good word on news, urban life, entertainment, sports. So, you know, I'm going to chop it up that way. I'm going to start with some of the more important news before we get to the jokes and snark and shade. Yeah, stop. Okay. First stop, going to Europe, because the European Tea Party is on the move. They call themselves the Eurosceptics. I call them EU hate dot hate, because for real, they haters. They're like the Tea Party, so they hate everybody, especially the government, but still everybody. And it's three major factions over in Europe. You got up in England like Bizzle dot hate. You got... Klaus Barbie German dot hate and you got Frenchy Wack dot hate. And the way the whole European Union works is that you have the different countries and they represent it proportionally, proportionately, sorry. And then you have different factions within those countries which are also represented proportionately by the votes. And so these EU haters got voted in in these countries. And the problem is, if they start banding together, instead of representing their country's interests or the EU's interests, they can make moves and tear the club up like the thugs that they are. And it could create problems because they're trying to go back to isolationism and erase globalism and globalization, which is like trying to erase the Internet. Absolutely insane. But the reason insane people are insane is because they do insane things. Which brings me to the next topic of insanity, which is that UCSB shooter. Now, let the record show I do not dignify or celebrate these misfit psycho killers by mentioning their names. I do not read, endorse, or in any other way give any props to their ramblings, their manifestos, their doctrines their memos, their videos, or their metrics at all. No. But having said that, this needs to stop. And by this, I mean, in this particular case, four specific things that I feel as though are very essential to why this stuff continues to go on. And it goes on a lot. Starting with domestic violence. So far, we've had Dream, Game, freaking Paul Simon, the guy from Scandal, some dude from The Shield killed his wife. And then the dude, Oscar Pistorius, the dude with no legs that was running, he's a feel-good story. He blamed his wife dead. He up in court acting crazy, acting like he's sad, crying, falling apart. Then all the evidence is showing that he was shysty. Stop. Leave your hands off of women. Period. Leave your hands off of everybody. Secondly, the whole woman thing, misogyny and all of this woman hate and stuff like that. Yes, all women is real because there is a lot of violence and a lot of perceived violence and an attitude of true hate and menace towards women. And it's scary. And we need to stop that. Show women love. Seriously, there are moms, there are wives, there are sisters, but they are people. First and foremost, individuals. They do not deserve to be treated any other, any other way than anybody else, period. We all have our diversity. We all have our experiences, but people are people. We have to identify the creeps and the weirdos and the people that look like, oh, the lights are on, but nobody's home. 
Either they have a concussion or they're crazy. I've seen these people. It's serious. We need to identify them and get them the help they need and get them the hell up out of normal society before they do something crazy. And last but not least, the gun issue. Yes, this is America. Yes, Second Amendment. But we got to do something about these guns. I'm saying start with raising the prices. Look, you want an old 38, you still coming up out of your pockets with three fifty five hundred dollars You start getting in the Glocks and stuff, 1500 2000 Machine guns, 75000 100000 150000 Nobody is getting an AK if AK costs you 150 scratch. You know what I'm saying? Jokes aside. And then secondly, we need to monitor and record gun owners for public assurance. Because for real, for real, you have to get a license to fish. <laughs> but people can get guns in certain states at a Walmart or over at some crazy gun show. We need to make sure that people are registering, testing and getting licenses if they want guns. And if you want to carry a gun on the street, you should have to pass some Jack Bauer exam to show that you're nice with yours. Because the last thing we need is some trigger happy gun nut novice going to war with some insane misfit psycho killer in a public arena. No, no, that's crazy. Crazy like the fact that did you know? Cartels have taken over the lime and avocado industry. So whenever you're eating delicious lime chicken or cob avocado salad, you are putting money in the cartel's hands. Just like you are if you're buying yay or weed or hair around or whatever. But I'm, I guess you know that. But anyway, it's crazy. So now, speaking of crazy, I'm going to get away from the serious stuff and go to some more of the, you know, Fluff, but equally crazy, shout out to the Kim Ye wedding, which I was not invited to. I don't know Kanye West or Kim Kardashian, so I'm not surprised I wasn't invited, but I'm still a little bit salty about it. If I was invited, though, I probably wouldn't have went, because I don't know Kanye or Kim. And then... Kanye seemed like the type of dude, he get too turned up, next thing you know you talking, and he start going off about, you know, yada, 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 yo, Medici family, where am I at, and I'm going to cut my ear off like Da Vinci, and I'm making art airplanes and leather jeans and stuff like that, and you got to go to the bathroom, and your beer is empty, and you want to try and break off the conversation, but he keep going and going and going, you don't have nothing to say, but he ain't letting you say nothing anyway, you know, that, that's awkward. Happened to me yesterday at Common Market. So, you know, it's probably better I didn't go to the Kimye wedding. But congratulations to them nonetheless. I hope that they make it. I have my reservations because marriage is hard. Being a celebrity is hard. And being insane is hard. And so when you're an insane celebrity that gets married to another insane celebrity, like I said, I have my reservations. But I hope it lasts because if it does not, it's going to be a circus, man. TMZ, CNN, Fox News, Sean Hannity going to be talking greasy, hating. Which is why, Kanye, take my advice. Listen to me. Do not, in any way, shape, form or fashion that could be seen as threatening put your hands on that woman you will be demonized i'm sure you love your seed i'm sure you love your money if you want to hold on to any of that do not do not get baited in any way shape form or fashion or go crazy or get too turned up and put your hands on that woman don't do it you black she white too but even if that weren't the case still and keep it in your pants, bro. Same thing with the money and the kid. She going to cheat on you. She going to cheat on you. And that will break your heart. And you'll be wearing, you know, construction paper hearts on your burlap coat again. You know what I mean? Singing into the auto tune all sad. I'm, you know, I, I understand it'll hurt. But if you cheat on her, that's a rap, dude. 
So don't let any of these little hottie chicks or dudes, I'm just saying, trick you, man. Keep it in your pants. Same goes for you, President Obama. You ain't got much time left. Keep it in your pants. Um, next up, Money Mayweather and T.I. fighting in Fat Burger. Come on, man. How ghetto you going to get, man? And T.I., you should know better. Bruh, you a felon. You know what I'm saying? You, you may or may not have snitched. You know what I'm saying? There's all kinds of accusations going on around you. People see you on ESPN, you well-spoken, next thing you know, you're doing something stupid. you driving around in a Lamborghini, smoking blunts and sipping drink and stuff. Got pills falling out your pocket. Chill, man. You got kids. You got money. You're an adult, bruh. Last thing you need to be doing is fighting some dude that's pound for pound, one of the best boxers of all time. He been done punched you upside your head. You bang your head on a fat burger table. Now you a vegetable for the rest of your life. Come on, man. You too old for that. And Money Mayweather, you've been in jail too. You know what I'm saying? You got fights and bread. You be up there burning dollar bills on Instagram and stuff. Come on, man. Y'all need to chill. What they say, turn down. Turn down. Um, I be turning on the TV. Um, I watch that Mad Men sometimes now. And um, kind of disappointed that people ain't as sad as they used to be when I watched it. You know, catch an episode here and there. Don the Dragon Draper, a.k.a. Madman Ham. He go ham on somebody, lie to somebody's face. Go scream up in his wife's face because he did something wrong. And in the end of the episode, everybody all sad. And I'd be like, ah, <laughs> everybody sad. Yo, they should call this show Sad Men. But this season, all of a sudden, people happy. Madman Ham helping people. You know, he's they be giving them like. The rope to hang yourself with. He'd be like, take this rope back, man. I'm trying to be cool. You know, shout out to Madman Ham. I'm, I'm glad you're trying to be cool. Don the Dragon and Draper, you know. Um, That Lauren Malvo dude on Fargo, though, he ain't trying to be cool. Never. He be wilding. Be talking all kinds of way to people. Be Jedi mind tricking people. Making them do terrible stuff. Making them do stupid stuff. And they be pulling out guns and blades. Killing people? That dude is a menace, man. Shout out to Billy Bob Thornton. Tear the club up, thug, 2014. Clearly the board winner. But TV right now is all about one person, the champion, the king, the master. Jack Bauer is back. Shout out to Ron Fairbanks. If you don't know about that bizzle, you don't know about that Audrey Rains, that Chloe O'Brizzle, you know, Morris, you know, Seed, you know what I mean? That Anglin Baby Bizzle, man, I don't know what's wrong with you, man. You need to get your life together and get on that Bizzle, man. That's a public service announcement. Word up. We're going to end on that. 15 minutes. Mad love to y'all on the streets. Real quick diss track, X-Men. Movie was whack. I seen Back to the Future. You tried to bite that joint. I seen Iron Man and Wolverine. Dude need to get his mojo back. Austin Powers did that many years ago. That joint was whack. Superhero movies be like three hours long, man. You seen Magneto moving cars like two, three times. They gonna act like it's brand new now, man. Uh-uh. 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 Anyway. Y'all be cool. That's the good word, frankly speaking, of course. Peace.